Hey teachers, today's students are gonna measure with inch tiles. So this week is gonna feel really parallel to what kids did when they explored the metric system, except they're just gonna explore units within the customary system. So this week, they'll explore the length of an inch, the length of a foot, and then also the length of a yard. They'll think about all three of these things relationally. So they'll think of a foot as 12 inches and a yard as three feet. They're not gonna be asked to do conversions in this way, but they will be asked to think about measurements that make sense. So if I know that the desk is one yard long, what would be a reasonable measurement of the desk in feet? So they're thinking about the relative size of each unit and how that might impact the measurement that they get. And the last lesson of this week really gets to that idea around how the unit you use affects the numerical measurement that you get. In other words, the smaller the unit that you're using, the larger the measurement you're going to get. But don't wait until that last day to begin to explore those ideas. Every day throughout this week, you want to be relating inch tiles back to centimeter tiles and making predictions around whether it's going to take more or less inch tiles in relation to centimeter tiles, more or less inch tiles in relation to a foot, more or less inches in relation to a yard. Okay, so kids are going to have a baggie of inch tiles, just like you did on your centimeter cubes day. Let kids know that these are inch tiles. What do you notice about them? And then this should be mostly under your dot cam and with your anchor chart. But remind kids that last week we used centimeter cubes to measure objects. Ask them how it worked. Really what we should hear kids saying are the measurement rules that we have up on our anchor chart. Make sure to pause and ask them why these measurement rules matter. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have pre-drawn on your dot cam a four inch line. And the reason our line is gonna be exactly four inches is because as kids are measuring our line with both centimeter cubes and inch tiles, we want it to be close to a whole centimeter and close to a whole inch. So as you're measuring this, you will see that it's about 10 centimeters and exactly four inches. So you're gonna now take your centimeter cubes narrate all the things that you're doing in relation to the measurement rules, and then talk about how when we measured this line and we lined up our endpoints, we had no gaps, no overlaps, we measure end to end, we see that it's 10 centimeters long. And then this is a really important part to get to one of the hardest things of the week, is we want kids to make a prediction. Okay, now look at your inch tiles. Do you think it's gonna take more inch tiles or less inch tiles to measure the same line. Maybe you even have one inch tile that you've matched up here. Turn and talk to your partner. Do you think it's going to take more inch tiles or less inch tiles? Turn and tell your partner what you think and why. What we really want to hear kids saying is that because inch tiles are bigger, we need less of them to cover the same amount of space. If we don't hear that on the first try, definitely put out your inch tile and say like, what are you thinking now? Do you think it's gonna take more or less? Maybe you'll even need to put out two inch tiles for kids to see. Then again, as you're, as you're measuring this line, okay, we think it's gonna be less, let's check. Narrate your rules. Huh, okay, so when we measured the same line, we see that it's four inches. This is where this measurement rule really comes in. We can't just say 10, we can't just say four. We have to say the unit with our measurement, especially today, because we're gonna be measuring in a new unit. And then come back to this prediction. So a lot of us said that it was gonna take less inch cubes than centimeter cubes, were we right? Why? Let's really think about why it only takes four inches and why it takes 10 centimeters, that kind of thing. And then loop back to this idea, which you explored with centimeter cubes. What happens if I don't have the exact number of tiles? Look at this pencil. Let's see how many inches it takes. Here's our starting point. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's check, is it closer to five or is it closer to six? We can say that this pencil is about five inches long. If kids say six inches here, that's totally fine. Whatever it's between, an acceptable answer is five or six here. Now let's look at this one. Let kids think about whether this one is closer to five or six. Ideally, eventually, by the time kids get to third grade, kids are gonna think about rounding and midpoints. So they're gonna think about if it's past the midpoint, they round up. If it's not past the midpoint, they round down. But in terms of these inches, we have not taught midpoints, we have not taught halves. And so we are gonna take either five or six. And then just into practice together, they have a paper-based guided practice that they can practice using inch tiles with and then write into their IP.